Hi, it's Wayne Mansfield. You know I've got this bee in my bonnet about what if. Well, last week I was in Melbourne, staying at Seasons at Botanical Gardens. I've been a regular customer with those with four years. And when I've previously asked them how much is the room, they will say $260 a night. I go to my favourite, until recently, travel site and say how much is the room and they'll say $125. So there's $135 difference to stay in the same room. I ask you what would you do? So I've said that hotels are pretty stupid letting what if run their booking. Now the situation is I've stayed there. They have on file my written authority to charge whatever they want to charge to my credit card because I'm a good customer. But I book in and they won't let me have a room unless I give them a photocopy of my driver's licence that they will put on file so that if my credit card to What If bounces. Now What If have told the hotel if they don't get this photo ID, um, what will happen is they won't honour the booking. So What If are clouting uh, the hotels around the head. Now, the general manager for Seasons on Botanical, after I demanded, give me back all my luggage, I'm leaving, uh, give me back my money, she came down to talk to me and she said, uh, in this global recession, 80% of our bookings come from what if, we can't afford to offend them, and we need customers to get upset and demand their rights so we can go back to them. So I say again, what if, lift your game. Now I rang them to talk to their CEO, uh, his picture's on my website if you want to have a look at what he looks like from one of those great promotional shots. Uh, he's too busy, too important, or I'm not important enough for him to take my call. So I say again, what if, lift your game.